It's really great to be here tonight. And that is not least because Greece, I think, is one of the most beautiful countries that I know. And that is not because of Greece's nice islands and many mountains and the wonderful climate we now experience this evening, but it's because of its people. I have always found everyone in Greece to be especially friendly and welcoming. I think Greece is one of the most friendly and welcoming country and people in the world. And this is what I always found here especially nice. And so it's a great pleasure to be here tonight in Greece, and then in combination with The Economist, which is, of course, the greatest newspaper in the world. Now, if we speak about challenges and opportunities for Greece, I will touch briefly on two topics other than COVID. Firstly, there is one major challenge for Greece in the coming years. This challenge, however, is at the same time a great opportunity. Greece is not alone with this. In fact, it is a global challenge that we all face. It is also a politically difficult topic and has the potential to divide society. And no, I don't mean climate change. And there is a second major challenge and opportunity, which I would like to address this evening. But now let me deal with the first one, first things first. Look at your neighbor to the right, and now look at your neighbor on your table on the left. Now one of them will at least have one grandparent or one great-grandparent that is a migrant. So that's half the people on this dinner. The history of humankind is a history of migration. Anyone tracing the family tree needs to go back just a few generations to find ancestors leaving their homes to start again in a new place, often with nothing. This particularly defines the modern area. We currently face the largest displacement crisis in history. But this is only the beginning. The climate is changing and many countries around the world are already suffering consequences. Moreover, the world is becoming more volatile, more conflicts are expected. Even the most optimistic view of the future suggests that in the, in the years ahead, a very large number of people will migrate in order to survive. At the same time, we have an unprecedented and worldwide expansion of investment migration. Affluent individuals who invest in other countries in order to become residents. With all of this, Greece is in a key position in several ways. Firstly, its geographic and historic situation makes it particularly exposed. Large sea borders, Turkey as a big and challenging neighbor. But it is also a very welcoming country with a long tradition of accepting migrants. Finally, it has developed one of the most successful investor immigration programs, which helps significantly to bring foreign direct investment to the country in, year, in recent years. If the policies both towards refugees and towards investors are improved, I believe Greece could benefit significantly. Of course, this has to be seen in a European context, which makes it challenging, mainly because there is no coherent immigration and asylum policy in the EU. But I firmly believe Greece could take a leading role in this area in Europe due to its history, its geography, and its people. Particularly in Europe, we need more positive migration policies that deal with the global refugee crisis in a better way, and at the same time, become much more attractive to international investors and talent migration. Greece and Europe need more targeted migration. That is a political challenge, 
but a tremendous opportunity. We need more, not less, immigration of people who contribute positively to society. Now let me move to the other topic briefly, something completely different. It also concerns us a lot in Europe, and particularly in Greece. And like migration, it is both a major challenge, but also an opportunity. And it is another internationally delicate topic, and one that actually has the potential to even divide the whole world. The Economist has always these really good charts that I really like, that are really right to the point. So let me show you one from the last edition of The Economist. If you can see this, I think it speaks for itself. You see here the trade with China and the United States since 2000 to today. In 2000, 25% or less in China, today is the reverse. I don't think I need to add much to that. Greece is the birthplace of democracy, of Western philosophy and culture. But we need to be aware that with what our values and views of the world are, we are not alone, and that China has an even longer tradition and history than we have in the West. With the Chinese buying the port of Piraeus and some other key assets in Greece, this country is particularly exposed to the Chinese global expansion strategy. This is a major challenge, particularly for smaller states like Greece. But it can also be an opportunity. If we stand up to China, recognize and respect its ambition, I think that can be a very positive way forward. We need to very much remain true to our values, but we can respect others and we can increase trade to mutual benefit. We can and should revive the spirit of the ancient Silk Road that linked the Western world with the Middle East and Asia. It was already a major conduit of trade between the Roman Empire and China. Today, China is pushing very aggressively around the world for its interests. This is difficult for the West to deal with. But Greece has a great opportunity to play an important role in a new world where China will be a major part, whether we like it or not. Every challenge can be an opportunity. If we rise to the challenge, we actually turn it into an opportunity, just like the Chinese have shown us for the last 5,000 years. Thank you very much.